The chalk streams of the Chilterns are some of the most threatened chalk streams in the world. Paul is practicing a technique called kick sampling and what he's doing is he's collecting river invertebrates. He's doing this as part of a survey technique that has been developed by the Riverfly Partnership called the Riverfly Monitoring Initiative. And river Chess have a Riverfly Monitoring Group. They monitor seven sites on a monthly basis and they monitor the river for its health, for water quality, and they're looking to survey for river flies and the invertebrate, the young phase, the nymph or larva phase of many insects. It's also a really useful technique for determining the success or otherwise of your enhancement work because you can come along and do the work beforehand and monitor the river and then come along after you've put your structures in just to see how you've changed the river. Have you improved it for invertebrates? This to me is like Christmas. You never know what you're going to get. That's some small mayfly, which is excellent, Danica, and a number of young bullheads. Next year's mayfly by the looks of it. What we're looking for are eight key groups of invertebrates. We're not counting every single one, we're just looking at the relative abundance. So if we have got shrimp in this case, which we have, how many are there? Have we got more than 10? Well, I'd say yes, there's more than 10. Have we got less than 100 or more than 100? I'd say we've probably just about got more than 100. We can then tot up the scores and find out what the score is for this site. The Environment Agency will set a trigger level for that site. If on their monthly visit, the volunteer comes down and the score is lower than the trigger level, then the Environment Agency are informed. And because all the monitors are trained to an Environment Agency agreed methodology, the Environment Agency he takes this data on face value and will come out and immediately instigate a pollution investigation and that's the strength of this system it allows local communities to look after their own environment with all the additional information that's coming in from riverfly monitors we can get a much better picture of how our rivers are faring we can see are we getting the improvements that we need and that can feed into our planning of what we do at a catchment scale to improve all these rivers